Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use UIKit Dynamics in your iOS app. So this will work for iOS 7, 8 and 9 and you can do it in pretty much any version of Xcode. Um, I'm going to be using Xcode 6 and I'm going to do it in Objective-C for this tutorial. Um, but if you do know how to convert between Objective-C and Swift, then you can do that and it will work the same way. Um, so yeah, before we start I'll quickly show you what our end result will be. So I have my iPhone here. And uh, this is the app we'll be making. So we have a view controller with a button, and we're gonna tap the button. And as you can see, we get an alert view, but it doesn't just come up as a standard alert view. We get a really cool animation as it kind of comes in there and as it drops out the bottom. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be making. I'm gonna be showing you how to do it. It's really, really easy. So um, yeah, let's begin. So I'm gonna quickly close out of this. And we're gonna go into Xcode, create a new project. This can be anything really, but I'm just going to do single view. And we want to call this um, alert test next create. And we're going to first of all need to include some new files into the project. So I'll have these downloadable in the description. I have a link for these, and uh, it's these two here the toalertview.h and toalertview.m. Um, this is basically what we're going to be using instead of UI alert view. It pretty much works the same way, um, but it just has these animations already built into it, so it's a lot easier. So just drag these into your project, make sure you check on the copy items if needed, click finish, and they are now in the project. Alright, so now you want to go into viewcontroller.m, and at the top, we're going to, we're going to need to import the file, the header file. So import t tl alert view dot h. All right, so now we can actually start. So first of all, we're going to go into the uh, storyboard, get a button, and I'm just going to position this in the middle, and then add missing constraints to put this in right in the center, and then we need to connect it to an IB action. So we're going to select the button. Then click on these two circles up here, and then control and drag from the button to the code. And then we're just going to call this button pressed and return. So now we have a new method for our button pressed. I'm just going to go into the viewcontroller.m, and we can write the code for the alert view. So if you're used to doing UI alert views, this pretty much works exactly the same way just with TL alert view. So we're going to do TL alert view and we'll just call this alert equals and then we'll do open two square brackets TL alert view alloc and then we can do in it with title message and button title or there are a few other things you could do here but I'm just going to do the standard one up here title and this will just be anything so we'll just do random stuff for these and the button title. So this only gives you an option to do uh, one button title, but if you use the other ones, you can do like multiple. Um, all right, so that is pretty much it. Now we need to make sure it shows when we click the button. So alert, uh, show, and there we go. That is the app literally made. That's all the code you're gonna need because these files pretty much um, create all the animation stuff for you. Um, so yeah, it makes it really easy to do this. So yeah, let's go and run the app on my phone, and we'll test it out. So let me just get the uh, mirror in back up. Alright, so as you can see, the new app is installed, and it does pretty much exactly the same thing as the one I showed you a minute ago. We click it, and we get our custom alert with the nice bounce animation. So yeah, that's how you use UIKit dyna Dynamics without any programming really. Um, all you need to do is just include them files. Um, I'll probably have a few videos in the future where, where I teach you how to actually program with the UIKit Dynamics stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.